In this video, we'll discuss how to export a structural model from Revit 2025 to eTabs using the CSIX Revit plugin. This tutorial will help you seamlessly bridge the gap between Revit and eTabs if you are working on detailed structural analysis and design using a model from Revit. You can go to my Patreon page to learn how to download and install the CSIX Revit plugin. Go to Add-ins tab to access the plugin from external tools once you install it. We can export to create a new eTabs model. Export to update an existing model. Or import to create or update a Revit model from eTabs. We'll also utilize the PowerPack plugin to quickly create the analytical model to export to eTabs for structural analysis. Revit provides us with a multidisciplined template that allows us to create the architectural, structural, electrical and plumbing details within a single project. I will open the 3D analytical model view from the structural views tab then highlight and select all analytical members. I will select filter command to confirm the object selection then hit delete. I will go to the default 3D view to explain how to create an analytical model from the structural elements. Ensure that all the structural components within your project are visible within the 3D view. From the Power Pack tab, drop at Structural then select Create Analytical Model. Highlight and select everything within the view. Then hit Finish. An analytical model forms the backbone of structural analysis allowing engineers to simulate how a building will perform under various loads. We now have our analytical model defined. We can switch to the 3D analytical model view to see the created analytical model. I can select this member and notice that the structural role is set to column. We only require the structural members for export to eTab software which will perform our structural calculations. I can select this member and its role is defined as well as seen in the properties dialog. We can select any analytical beam within the project and we have the structural role set to beam with the section type parameters. Creating analytical members with PowerPack plugin automatically defines our members with a color code scheme. Select and highlight everything within the analytical model view. I will select filter and notice that we have analytical members, openings, panels and levels selected. With this selection, go to add in stub. Drop at external tools then select export to create new eTabs model. We have the categories available for export from the selected members with grids data, analytical members, walls, slabs and openings. If you select this option, grid information will not be exported. Click OK to export the Revit elements to eTabs. The plugin will export the structural data as seen. Press OK to continue. Give the file a name from here. We'd save as type file as .exr for eTabs Revit exchange files then hit on save. I will click yes to replace and save the exchange file. With our analytical model exported, we can go to 3D view to look at our project in detail. I will select the section box then drag this grip to cut at the ground floor. 
I will rotate to the front side of this house design. This is the main entry with side lighting as seen. And once you enter the house, we have a room to the right with a double ceiling height here. The stairs leads to the upper level where the bedrooms are located. To the left of the stairs, we have the shared bathroom which can be used at the ground level commonly. This model contains plumbing fixtures as seen without piping works. This room can be utilized as an office or the guest bedroom. Beside this room, we have an entry point that leads to the laundry area which can be designed with cabinets for pantry storage. This door leads to the open kitchen design as seen. We have the kitchen area, dining space and living room all at the back for an open plan design. I will provide both this Revit file and the eTabs exchange file in my Patreon page as we'll discuss later how to add electrical and plumbing works using this drawing. I will set the upper limit of this section box below the first floor ceilings. I will rotate to the staircase landing. And from here, you have two bedrooms at the right separated with the bathroom. Both these bedrooms have a closet and a small sized balcony. At the left, we have a spacious master bedroom with large windows. This room has a master closet which will be located here as you can see but I have not yet added the cabinetry. The master is en suit with a full bath as seen. The master bedroom has sliding doors which leads to the master balcony located at the front face of the house with the railing details provided. This design utilized large windows that not only reduce the walling cost, but also adds natural lighting to the house. The two upper bedrooms have balconies as seen and this house project was from a client located at the coastal region. You can contact me through my email for a house design which will include the architectural, structural, electrical and plumbing works with full estimates for the building works through costechconstruction0 at gmail.com. I have been in the design industry since 2016, being involved with CAD softwares in the civil engineering field. We can switch to the ETAP software to import this Revit project for our structural analysis preparation. In this video, we'll discuss how to set up the ETAP's environment from a new drawing. Drop at file, then select new model. You can set to use built-in settings with option. Then select your drawing units from here. You can set to customary if working with imperial units. Select your region for default database from the available regions. I will set to United States. I will use BS shapes for the steel section database to define my steel sections. You can select your region if present in this list. I will set the steel design code as BS5950. Then use the BS8110 for the concrete design code and hit OK to create a new model. In this dialog, we can start by setting add structural objects to blank. Proceed to story dimension and set number of stories to 1. Our exchange file has the levels data as we selected levels and analytical members when exporting. Our current story data is as seen on screen. Press OK to create the new model. We can now proceed to import the Revit exchange file. Go to file. Import, then select Revit structure file from here.
select the .exr file exported from Revit. Then hit open. I have a material warning from the imported file. I can click edit and notice that the walls have issues as I use the basic wall to create this project in Revit. The basic wall has no identity data defined in Revit but will fix this issue by creating a wall material from the ETABS database. CSIX Revit plugin is the perfect ETABS to Revit bridge. Press OK to import. I have a warning with my members. I will press OK to proceed. A save dialog will pop up. Give the file a name and hit save. Proper import setup provides a structured workspace for analysis in eTabs. We have imported our structural members from Revit to eTabs using the CSIX Revit plugin. And we have the 3D representation as seen. We can check the model to view the error details in this project. Drop at Analyze, then select Check Model. Select all from here. And enable all fix options to fix frames and joints. And joint story assignment, then hit OK. This step is critical to maintaining data integrity and avoiding clashes from the structural members. The error is at the roof level where two beams overlap. That is beam 45 and beam 43. I will fix this error before proceeding to materials and sections. I will select the roof level plan view then expand structural objects. Roof level, then beams. I will scroll below then select beam 45 which is highlighted as seen in the views. I can select beam 43 and this is the beam to be deleted. I will right click then delete beam 43 from the model. We can go to analyze then check the model again. Select all options then hit OK. It is crucial to ensure all structural members are correctly imported and have no warnings before commencing on the structural analysis. You should see model has been checked. No warning messages were generated. With that, we can proceed to assigning materials and section properties to our structural members. ETABS is a powerful software which I'll be using to discuss structural analysis workflow with various projects in the channel. Comment below if you would like us to use this model for our structural analysis as it is. Or if we should start a new Revit project from architectural design. I will collapse the beams from the model explorer. Go to edit then select edit stories and grid systems. Select modify to view the story data. I have my story data defined from the exported Revit levels. The height and elevation match with the Revit details and you can edit or add more stories from this dialog. I will press OK. Click this option to edit or show the grid system data. We have the X and Y grids data provided as we exported grids in our selection with the CSIX Revit plugin. This is a brief introduction to the ETAB software. And we are going to take down a complete structural analysis in a separate video that will cover loads combination and concrete design. After designing, we'll detail all members and produce our structural drawings with this software. You can add materials by selecting Define, then Material Properties. This dialog helps us to add new, add copy of or modify a material. 
I can set the region to India. Then select concrete as the material type of grade M30, then hit OK. This grade will be used to define our column sections. We can add a new material, then select grade M25 and hit OK. This grade will be used for beams and slab sections. I will set the region to United States and material type as masonry to add our wall material. Click OK. You can edit the material name from this dialog. ETABS material property data includes material weight and mass, mechanical property data, design data and advanced material property data values. We can define a steel material that will be used at our reinforcement bus. I'll set the region to India. Material type as Riba. Then select a grade from the list as grade 415 to be used as our Riba material and hit OK. You can edit the material property data from this dialog. We can proceed to see how we can assign these materials to our structural members. Select Define from the toolbar. Then Section Properties and we can define frame sections for beams and columns. We have our beams and columns imported from the Revit model. Select any section then go to Modify or Show Property Data. This is a column section as seen and we can modify the RIBA from this dialog. We can set the RIBA materials for the longitudinal and stirrups to our steel material created earlier. And you can click this box to add or modify materials. Then hit OK to exit the Define Materials dialog. You can set the reinforcement if to be checked or designed. Then set the RIBA properties from these other settings and press OK to proceed. We are going to learn how to use this software to analyze, design and calculate structural loads, then produce automatic detailing and structural drawings. After performing our structural analysis, we'll export the detailed model as a Revit structure file from here then import it back to Revit using the CSIX Revit plugin. ETABS is a powerful structural analysis and design software used in the engineering industry for designing and analyzing multi-story structures. By installing CSIX Revit plugin, we can be able to link a model from Revit to ETABS and back. And that's how you can export a model from Revit to ETABS using the CSIX Revit plugin. You can visit my Patreon page to download this and every other projects available in the channel. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next.